Hey folks, I uh, know it's taking me longer than I wanted it to here, but I've uh, been looking around, I had a lot of people coming in and out, but um, here's some more information from KSTP in the Twin Cities about the school lockdown and that happened today. So, I'm going to bring this up. An online message warned of a deadly shooting at a Minneapolis school. The threat that uh, uh, he's coming to one of the schools, shooting it up, and then shooting themselves. Dozens of schools responded by going on lockdown. The threat affected thousands of students at public and private schools. Good evening, I'm Leah McClain. I'm Bill Lund. All Minneapolis public schools went on lockdown, affecting 35,000 students. Many ha ha 1,200 students on lockdown. I think we know what this is all locations. about, too. And another threat, believed to be from the same source, forced lockdowns at Creighton Durham Hall and three schools near it. Expo Magnet School, Unreal. Holy Spirit Catholic School, and St. Paul Academy and Summit School. Steve Shaw begins our live team coverage tonight from Minneapolis. Steve. Well, Bill, we are still waiting to hear from Minneapolis School District as to whether this lockdown will continue here in Minneapolis tomorrow. Guy Students sounds like such an ass clown. Fuck you. Tell me it was a tough day. It's like prison, pretty much. They won't even let you out. Yeah. So. Charlie Gendron is a senior. I don't blame me, kid. One of the Against your fucking constitutional rights, pal. Chris Jacobs is also a senior at South. They're not letting anybody out. I mean, tensions are really high. They're not even letting anyone out to, like, eat outside during lunch. Uh, I need to eat outside. I'm hungry. Came from an it's all he's got to worry about, dumbass. Wake up, kid. Morning. It said someone was going to walk into a Minneapolis public school, shooting a gun, <laughs> killing kids. Just before 10 a.m., the district put all yeah, the schools I believe on this lockdown. Too. We have our intelligence investigators working on this now. Uh, trying to backtrack where this message came from. Police spokesman Jesse Garcia tells me the tip was from someone who wanted to warn police about a juvenile who lives in Australia, a kid who hasn't even lived in the United States for seven years. Police are now tracking him. Over at South High School, senior Tyler Mahoney says it was tough in there today. It was kind of a sad day. Like, nothing was going on. So it did disrupt school. It, it did disrupt school, for sure. It did dis disrupt school for sure, but the school district here in Minneapolis does say after school activities today and tonight went ahead as scheduled. By the Minneapolis, Steve Shaw, Five Eyewitness News. Minneapolis schools classify today's threat as code yellow, which means the exterior and interior doors okay. are locked and students well, the yellow lockdown just like prison. Classrooms. The halls are kept clear and students just are like directed prison. to the classrooms. A code red is a more serious alert. It means there is a threat inside the building, and students are told to stay away from doors and windows. When the threat has passed, code green means all clear. Now, the suspect probably won't get away with this. Police say they have tracking emails and social networking posts down to a science. Faye Scroggins continues our team coverage tonight, walking us through the investigative process. Faye? Leah, tonight we know how investigators in St. Paul and Minneapolis will go about tracking down a suspect. In fact, an internet detective in Anoka County showed us just a few simple steps to follow the cyber trail. Anoka County Sheriff's Detective Brian Hill finds the things you thought were untraceable. Helps me to find out where it's coming from. For email, of course he will. You don't care about your rights or privacy or none of that. Address. Every IP address has a you know an owner associated with it for social networking sites like Facebook, i would like to know what the Facebook, name of the Twitter, program that their computers use is called transmission there's always seriously i'd like to know what it's called in those, the IP address. no matter Tell where it originated then this website uh, every ip address <laughs> is in this database it's government mandated traces it at one three government eight, mandated five, investigators send administrative subpoenas to the physical address they find linked to the ip address from there, it can be tracked to a home or business. It may take a few days or a matter of just hours for the information to land on Hill's desk. Most major yep. companies don't fight us on a Hill. Subpoenas. Police use the information hmm. to locate kind of the name is that? suspect. The bad thing is with computer achievement, the footprint. A footprint along the cyber trail that could lead to criminal charges. Anytime you post something or send something, once it's sent, you can't Boy. take it back and it, everything leaves a paper trail. All it takes to find where the trail began is a little detective work. And the newest emerging challenge, mobile apps on phones, because not only do investigators have to get in touch with the internet service provider now, they also have to get in touch with the cell phone service provider, which could take a little extra time. By the Minneapolis, Faye Scroggins, by the Witness News.
So, uh, there you have it, straight from KSTP. I'll post the link over uh, wherever the frig it is. But who knows what this is all about? I think I know, but. Most Americans, most Minnesotans, if they're too stupid to figure this one out on their own, that uh, shit's gonna hit the fan soon and they're just practicing, seeing what they need to work on.